Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today, new location. I am at home in my room and I'm currently working, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to slap on some makeup and I'm going to switch on the camera and talk to you guys because I have some new things to share and I thought better time. There's no better time than the present. So let's film. First of all, thank you so much for the feedback on my previous video. Um, I have to admit, I wasn't 100% um, content about how that video turned out because you could tell, or at least I could tell, that I had lost my filming mojo a little bit. You could tell that it was... I, I, I haven't filmed in so long, so I felt that, you know, I don't know. If I had a second chance to refilm that video, I would have, but I thought, I don't care. I'm just going to put it up. And um, and you guys liked it, and thanks God you did. Thank you very much for your response and for your um, support. Uh, always, all the time, you guys are the best. Anyway, today I have a little bit of a haul because I discovered this new brand, okay? This new brand of sweaters that I love so much, and I just wanted to share. And I'm actually wearing one of the sweaters that I got from this brand. The brand is called Manouche. I don't know if I'm the last person on earth to have discovered this brand, but I just recently discovered it. It is a French brand, and I feel that it has a lot in common with Cezanne. Cezanne, like Manouche, I mean, they're both, fr they're both French, and they are niche brands. These are brands that you know if you know. Otherwise, you don't know. They don't do, like, mass uh, public like publicities or advertisements or sponsorships. Uh, thanks God, I like when brands, don't, when brands do that. Um, so, you know, if you know about the brand, you discover the brand and you love the brand and you show the brand. Um, otherwise it's just not, you don't find them in like magazines and things like that. So I just wanted to share because I think that this brand really, really deserves our attention. So the brand is called Manouche and it's a brand that I discovered one fine day. It was November, I want to say. Uh, I follow Chiara Ferragni. Uh, our influencer, Italian influencer, and um, in one of her pictures she was wearing this sweater, this exact sweater that I'm wearing, and I fell in love. I was like, yes, I need this sweater. And because I've been wanting one of these rainbow sweaters for quite a while. Um, many brands have made this colorful, like, rainbow style sweater. I remember Alberta Ferretti had one, then Gucci had a beautiful one, but by the time I decided to get it, it was gone, past collection season, gone, kaput, the end. Couldn't get my hands on it. And then other brands, yeah, but nothing really wowed me. But then when I saw this one, I thought, that's it. I have to have it because it is different. It is, yes, rainbow style, but it's neon. Okay, I'll put a picture so you can see, although I'm pretty sure you can see it on me as well. It is all neon colors. You have neon yellow and um, you can see the colors like blue, green, red, uh, fuchsia. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is my happy sweater. Uh, the other day I was talking to my um, physiotherapist and she said, oh, what a beautiful sweater. She complimented me and I said, yeah, I've been wearing this sweater so much. And I told her, some mornings, I have to force myself not to wear it. I have to tell myself, okay, Lara, enough. You have other sweaters. You might want to wear something else today, okay? I've been making an abuse of this sweater because it's just so comfortable. It's slightly oversized, but not too much because you all know that I, I don't like oversized. In fact, I have this in a size um, medium. Great size, great size. Um so comfortable. It's wool blend, so not 100% wool. It's wool blend, but uh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. The price point, I have to say, is a smidge higher than Cezanne. Uh, this sweater, I, I think it's full price is $250, maybe even more than that, which for a you know wool blend, I would expect 100% wool, but it doesn't matter. So, you know, with $250 in Cezanne, you can get two sweaters, you know, for the price of one manouche. But I love it. I guess they're up the price after, you know, giving it to uh, Chiara Ferragni and everybody buying the sweaters. Anyway, they have this style, then they also have the cardigan. I love it. This is a happy sweater and I just, I just love it. Then obviously, once I discovered this sweater, 
I started looking at everything else. I started looking at all the knitwear because knit, I just like knit, knitwear. And I fell in love with other pieces, which I have here. And um, I didn't buy it immediately, but uh, I decided to buy them now because the sale is on. I got these two sweaters 50% off and I'm very happy. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna share. I haven't worn them yet. But I will, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll vlog because, um, yeah, I, I, I might go out and um, I'm going to wear one of these sweaters. So you will definitely see one of these in action. So this is the one I'm wearing. And then I have this one, which is so cute. Oh my God, look at it. It's a turtleneck. It's blue with these lilac or purple hearts and the hearts I'm not sure if you can tell but the hearts are actually glitter so it's super super cute guys super girly super cute this one is fitted so it doesn't have the same cut as the one I'm wearing this is actually a fitted sweater turtleneck sweater and I love this it's so cute it's so me when I saw they have several sweaters with the heart they also have another one pink with the red hearts. I was very, very in doubt. Tempted with that one, in doubt between that one and this one. But I thought to go with this one because it's different. Because it's blue and it has the purple hearts. I don't have anything like this. Whereas I do have a fuchsia sweater with the red heart. The one from Jada Benincasa. Uh, so I thought let's just go for something different. So I got this one. This is 100% wool and it was 50% off. So definitely, definitely check out the Manouche website now because they are doing sales and they are doing good sales, okay? Not 20%, 10%, 30%. No, they are going 50%. So this is great and I got it in a size L. And then this is the second one I got. Oh my god, this one also is so, so cute. This is actually the first one I put in my basket. I, I saw this, I want to say, a few weeks ago, and at, at the time, it was 40% off. I thought, you know what, I'm going to wait, because I saw that all the sizes were available. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to wait and um, see. And the good thing I did, because about a week ago, it went to 50%. So I thought, that's it, that's it, ain't going to wait no more. So I got it. This, too, is a turtleneck fitted. This, too, I got in a size L, and as you can see, the colors... This brand shouts colors. So if you like colors, you're gonna love this brand. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mix of neon as well. All the threading that you see is all neon colors. You know, there's nothing subtle about this sweater. Everything is neon. And the beautiful detail that made me want it even more is on the collar, you have this beautiful bow so girly, so chic, and, and you have the same bows on the cuff on your wrist. And it is so, so cute. Just a beautiful, girly, extra detail. And that's the thing about this brand. I just wanted to point out. This brand is very girly girl, girl chic. It reminds me a lot of Miu Miu. Uh, you know, it's very, like, I want to say retro chic. 60s, 70s, big bows, big colors, big hearts everywhere, uh, very girly, that sort of style. Manouche is the same, with not the high price points as Miu Miu, but definitely more accessible. I'm, it's, it's, it's I'm gonna say it's mid price point, okay? As I said, it's slightly more expensive than Cezanne, but with the sales, you can definitely get, you know, a couple of sweaters at a re relatively you know good price. I mean, this one is wool blend. This is 100% wool. So, you know, they're definitely good quality sweaters. And plus the one I'm wearing. So as you can see, color, there is color everywhere. And I love it. If you're a person that likes, you know, black and white and gray and beige, this is not the brand for you. But if you like me and you like color and you like patterns, then definitely, definitely check out Suzanne. You will not, um, Suzanne. Definitely, definitely check out, you can check Suzanne that out as well, but Manouche, Manouche is the brand for you because you will love it. I mean, just look at that. Let's do a um, thumbnail. So yeah, 
that is that. I just wanted to cut. Sh blah. I just wanted to show you guys these three manouche sweaters that I got in the past few. Uh, these two I recently got, and this one I got before, before or slightly after Christmas, I have to say. Ever since we got back in lockdown, everything is kind of a blur. I don't remember when things happened and what happened when. It's just, I'm, I'm confused. So I don't remember if I got this before Christmas or our after Christmas. Anyway, December. Okay, I remember it was December. And then these two I got now. So, that is that. Right, so that is all for the clothes. I don't think I got anything else. Oh, yes! I did. I got, but I can't show you. I got a sweater from Ghani. Uh, it should arrive tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Anyway, um... I hope I'll manage to film a segment and show you guys the sweater, or if I don't, I'll put a picture here. It's a beautiful sweater. I saw it on Emilia Liana uh, when I think she did her favorites of 2020. She showed this Ghani sweater, and I loved it because I love the cutout that it has in the front. Not my style. I don't usually wear sweaters with cutouts, at least not that big. But that kind, I think I can handle. So, uh, I can't wait to get it and wear it and show you guys. So, that's all for the clothing front. I did get a little bit of makeup. Not too much, really. Um, uh, but I thought of just pointing out a couple of things that I really, really like. Obviously, obviously, I mean, y'all know me. I am a Huda Beauty obsessed aficionado. I, I support the, the brand. I love the brand. So I could not not get their new reformulated foundation. This is the full filter. I think it's called Luminous Matte Foundation. This is the thing. I've been a huge fan of the original. I've used that foundation, bought it, repurchased it back to back several times. It's been my go-to foundation for ever since it launched uh, for the couple of years that came after. Uh, loved it. In fact, I, I really did, didn't buy many foundations when I was using that because that was the only thing I needed and I loved it. Then they reformulated the, 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 the formula of this foundation and I don't know why. Because that foundation just worked for me a lot. Everybody were complaining about the fragrance. I don't know, it was just me. But or maybe because, you know, when you use the same product over and over again, you don't smell it anymore. So that's why I feel that the fragrance really didn't bother me. But uh, apparently the fragrance was a big issue for everybody. Not for me. Then people were complaining the fact that it was super drying, super matte, super... I mean, obviously it's a full coverage foundation. If that's not what you want, Try something else. I mean, for me, as far as I see it, when you want full coverage, it's gonna be, you're gonna feel it, obviously, and it, it might, and um, mm, it might look, I mean, obviously, you have to know how to wear the foundation. Not too much, not too little. You don't, don't want it to look cakey. If, and it's gonna be matte. Obviously, it's gonna be matte, which is the reason why I don't like matte. But to make it luminous, I would put a luminous base underneath that. And, you know, Pile on the highlighter. And that's how I would make it work. But apparently, um, there were many complaints. I don't agree with all those complaints. In fact, when I saw that she, you know, was posting on her Instagram about the reformulation, I was skeptical. I was like, no, girl. Why did you have to change something that was already good and fine to begin with? So, but, you know, I mean, obviously now the original is not available anymore. I still have it. I still have, want to say, half a bottle of the original, but I had to get the new one because I thought, let's, let's you know, be open-minded and <laughs> maybe the new one is just as good. So I'm wearing it today and uh, yeah, I like it. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it's just as good. I don't find it to be very different. I mean, obviously it doesn't have fragrance. But you know what? It doesn't, it's not that it doesn't have a fragrance. It smells of a foundation with no fragrance. Am I making sense? I would say that yes, it's definitely less cakey. Which is a good thing. I, I did put two pumps and I thought, oh my god. With the original, I usually would use one pump. So I thought, maybe this is too much. No. 
not at all. Uh, two pumps worked great. It covered everything. I was worried about the coverage. I was worried that with the new formulation, I would lose coverage. I don't think so. I think the coverage is still there. This time, I decided to go for Toasted Coconut, which is the color that I also got the stick foundation. Whereas in the original, I had Custard, and that was a bit too light. Toasted Coconut is definitely a better match right now. And uh, yes, 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 I, I like it. It is approved for me as well. So Huda, I'm sorry I doubted you, but I will not do it again. The reformulation is just as good as the original. So very, very nice. And then today I decided to go old school with my makeup. I applied my Cover FX uh, powder, setting powder. I haven't used that in years. And that too, I used to buy back to back was my go-to setting powder. And when I used it today, I was like, why the hell did I stop using this powder? This is the thing about makeup and this is the thing about me. There's always something new that comes out. There's always something new, always something that I want to try. And then I forget about, you know, the OGs, the things that really work. So yes, the Huda Beauty and the Cover, uh, cover Effects uh, setting powder is... Uh, amazing. The one that comes in a pot, you know, the loose powder. Fabuloso. Love it. Then obviously for my lipstick, I'm wearing my um, Christian Louboutin, which you saw in my previous video, my what's in my bag. Love that lipstick. It's matte, it's red, and it's comfortable. It's a comfortable matte. Very luxurious. And actually today, I slightly overdrew my lips. Can you tell? Anyway, and then on my eyes, I'm wearing um, Pat McGrath, one of her mothership's 10,000 uh, palettes. Don't remember the number. So, yes, that is all. I just wanted to update you, up you guys on this. Oh, and also, I got, yet again, one of those things that, you know, I used to wear, then I forgot and thought, why am I not wearing this product again? It's the, tat it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Uh, I bought this with the Huda Beauty Foundation because I thought I used to love this eyeliner. I need to get it back in my life. Um, this was this too, you know, just like the products I've mentioned. I used to use it and repurchase it uh, back to back every time it would finish. And then I was, you know, other things. I was my I, I got sidetracked, and uh, but nothing compares to this eyeliner, really. It's super black, super easy. I mean, this is eyeliner made easy. I love it. The problem about other eyeliners, and trust me guys, if there's one field of expertise that I feel I have, it's the eyeliner, okay? I think I've tried them all. I've really tried them all. And the thing about these eyeliners is that um, when you apply them over eyeshadow, they don't perform. They don't perform. It's not black. You get a gray, something that skips eyeliner. You know, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's not a pleasure to apply. It's a stress, stress because you have to go over and over and over it just to get something that resembles a black eyeliner. Where else with this, one line, wing, and you're done. Easy. And I have eyeshadow today. It doesn't skip, it goes smooth. It's smooth. And I like the felt tip on this one. Also, the Huda Beauty eyeliner is good. But with that, it's super black, super matte, love it. But with that, I don't like the tip. It's that, you know, flimsy kind of a very um, fine tip brush. Don't like that. I like an actual pen eyeliner. So yes, after uh, this major ma makeup update, uh, I will leave you one last glance at these beautiful, beautiful sweaters. And I think I'll see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow, uh, I'm, I think we're going to town. And I will take you guys with me and show you guys my outfit. And just update you with whatever, whatever will be going on. See you later.